What's going on everybody? Welcome to this video. We're down here at uh, a river with a whole bunch of river rock. This is a known area back into the early 1800s, late 1700s. And this was a trade route. This is actually not the trade route. The trade route is actually uh, maybe a hundred feet the other way. And over on that side with a whole bunch of historic buildings. And we're down here in the river today and we're gonna be hunting the edge. We're probably gonna go out a little bit into the river too as well. Uh, I haven't really got the detector out yet, but today we're gonna be using the Equinox 800 and see what we find. Uh, I will say um, the dated period, while this is not a good find, we've all have found this when we're out metal detecting and uh, it, it just dates it. So pull tab right on the surface. This is uh, was just chilling actually in a little bit into the water. So hopefully fingers crossed. Today is a good day. I'm gonna get the GoPro out. I'm gonna get the metal detector out and we're gonna see what we can come up with. 1999 penny. Well, or 1999 dime, nothing too crazy. That same hole actually. This was a uh, 23. Rinse it off. Yeah, just a zinking. Nothing too crazy. There's coins here. With them being so new and being so deep, uh, I don't know if we're gonna find anything here. I think we have a quarter and a penny. Nope, nope, it's just a rock. But I did see what looks to be a penny. Ah, it's a dime. Oh, boo. All right, so let's do a, a check. We're gonna head from here and we're actually going to uh, go a little further south to some other potential river hunts. This was, uh, this is a pretty cool area. Jeez. However, uh, coins and stuff were hard to find, far and few between. So we have a dime, a zincan, a zincan. So two dimes, so 23 cents we found at this location. Nothing crazy value, this is just, just garbage. So we're gonna pack up and head to the next location. All right, so we're at location number two. This is another river hunt that we're gonna be doing or trying to see where we can get. There's a low part of the river that we're gonna to try to get to. So we're not really expecting too much, but it'd be nice to get over there. Man, we got a lot of big bedrock here. This is awesome. Um, so parked the bike up top and it's time to hit the river. Look at that. Oh yeah, I mean, it's moving. But we got some bedrock right here. So I'm actually gonna go hit some of this bedrock. Thirty-seven, thirty-six. 36, probably something big. Right here in the vein. I can't do a live dig because I don't have the setup for it, but I got my chest rig at home. I'm gonna see what that is though. I'll get back to you. But uh, I don't know, just melted metal. That's what it was. Right down there in that vein. Here is a ring. It's uh, not silver or anything. Uh, it looks to be a kid's ring. No writing or anything on it. Maybe when I get home I might might be able to find something. But that's pretty cool. Found that uh, actually about 10 feet or so from my area. I gotta get a tether for the detector, but uh, that's cool. That made my day. So this area is pretty cool. Uh, all bedrock and you find those veins in there and you can just kinda go to town. The signals are all over the place and you just gotta take the time to do it. I don't have the right tools. Again, I'm just out prospecting for some new locations, but this location looks like we can get uh, a few guys in here for at least a couple hunts. Uh, nothing too crazy. I don't know about the historical value of this, but man, there's there's shorelines we can get to uh, currently. So if it, it's not really supposed to rain, so I think we're gonna get back here. 
So pretty cool find uh, of the day is a ring. It's a kid's ring, it's a cheap ring, but still nonetheless, uh, that was that was down there, probably a good two, three inches underneath some stuff in one of the veins. So that's it. Be sure to hit that like and subscribe button. We are coming back here. I'm gonna tell the guys about this area and we're gonna get a plan to come out here and really hit this hard with all the right stuff. I think we're gonna be doing, uh, doing really good. If anything, find some relics and see if we can find some historical uh, aerials of the river just to kind of see if there was crossings or a bridge or some, some other structures here or what was around the area. So awesome find, awesome find for the day. Thanks for watching.